In 2024, new laws will be coming to employees in Illinois. Both the rise in minimum wage and paid leave will soon take place. Jess Lipson spoke to a local shop owner on how this will affect his business. Jess. Marissa, about a third of small business costs its employees. While it is important for employees to earn a living wage, store owners say a pay increase will be tough on local businesses. Although the wages have gone up and the paid time off has gone up, obviously that's great for my employees, but it is harder on any small business. Nick Naruse talks about how the rise in minimum wage and the new paid leave laws will impact small businesses. The owner of Toad Hall, for almost 20 years, was ready to make these adjustments, but warns not everyone will be. We planned it, you know, years out, we knew that the minimum wage was going up. And none of our employees are minimum wage anyway, we already pay them more. But we still give pay increases. As for the time off, again, we've allotted for that. I think we're going to see a lot of how it's going to affect things is it's going to be harder for small business to hire more people. Workers' productivity increases and they often gain greater passion for their job when they can manage the stresses that they face outside of work more easily. Over the past few years, the minimum wage has increased to 15 an hour, which will begin in 2025. Nick says that has its pros and cons. For businesses, it was great to plan. You know, we can make a road ramp. That was very beneficial for small business. And I don't disagree that employees should be paid more a living wage. I absolutely agree with that. But it has not adjusted to how the world has changed in five years. Starting January 1st, workers in Illinois can earn up to 40 hours of paid leave in a 12-month period. Minimum wage will rise to $14 an hour and $7.80 for tipped employees. I think in the long run, it'll all wash out. And, you know, in the years to come, I think it'll be a beneficial thing for people and employees. Um, the businesses are going to have to toughen up. It's not easy. It's not. It's going to get harder for us before it gets easier. Um, and the only thing that keeps us going is people support lo local business. Places like Toad Hall struggle to just raise their prices as their competition can be online in shops across the country. He emphasizes shopping local can really go a long way. Marissa?